Hello, this is InstaForex company. We are glad to introduce you to a series of videos about MetaTrader 5 terminal. Today our video is about graphic tools and tips to use them. The MetaTrader 5 terminal offers a great variety of graphical tools. Some of them are the same as in the MetaTrader 4 terminal, while the others are absolutely new. To apply a graphical tool to an open chart, Navigate to the Line Studies Adjustable Toolbar on the main menu which displays the most frequently used tools. The same command can be executed by clicking the Insert button on the main menu and then choosing Objects. To customize the Line Studies Toolbar, launch its drop-down context menu by right-click and choose Customize. In the Customizing Toolbar, you can delete the tools you do not use and add new ones. All objects are grouped depending on their types in the Insert menu. Lines, various lines such as vertical, horizontal, trend lines and cycle lines. Channels, various channels. Gen tools, specific technical analysis tools. Fibonacci tools, technical analysis tools based on Fibonacci number sequence. Elliott tools, graphical tools based on Elliott wave theory used to create trends. Shapes, geometrical shapes such as rectangles, triangles and ellipses. Arrows, special symbols for different purposes. Graphical objects, various graphical objects such as text, text labels and buttons. Five most frequently used objects are shown at the top of the list in the Insert Objects menu. To apply an object to an open chart, choose it from the list. The following actions depend on the object type. Left-click the chart to apply such objects as vertical and horizontal lines, arrows or labels. These objects have only one coordinate or a control point. Stretch from one point to another such objects as trend lines or channels. Left click and hold the button to draw a line and join the points. Such objects as triangles have three control points. You will not see them until you define all points. To apply a triangle, define three points in a chart. After you have defined the second point, hold the mouse and drag it to the third one. After the object is applied to the chart, you can modify it and change its location. Select it by double-click on the object or any of its control points. If you frequently use graphical objects, navigate to Service, then choose the Objects tab in the Options and enable Select Object by Single Mouse Click or Show Properties after creation. To change the object's properties, move its control points. To change the object's location, click the central point and hold the mouse. To copy the object, Move it holding the control button. To delete the object from the chart, launch its drop-down context menu or press backspace key to delete objects one by one. To restore deleted objects, press the Ctrl-Z key. Press the Ctrl-Z key combination or navigate to Charts in the main menu then to Objects and choose Undo Delete. Each object has its specific properties. To see them, launch its context menu by right-click on the object and choosing Properties or go to Charts, then to Objects and Object List or press the Ctrl-B combination. In the Object List, you will see the list of all objects applied to the chart and you can customize their properties or delete them. To delete several objects, select them holding the Shift or Control button. Each object has its specific properties, 
which depend on the type of the object. There are some properties common for all objects. To customize the following properties, navigate to the Common tab in the Objects Properties. Name the unique name of the object that is set automatically. It can be changed to mark the object out among many others of the same type. Description. The description will be shown in the Object List window. Besides, it will be shown in the chart if the Show Object Descriptions option is enabled in the chart settings. Style. Color and style of object lines. Draw object as background. Draw object in the background behind the chart. Disable selection. Disable the possibility of object selection. This possibility is intended for working with control objects, button, entry field and graphical label. Enabling this option gives the possibility to change the state of buttons and bitmap labels as well as to modify their values in entry fields. We will go back to this option later. The object's visualization mode for different time frames can be changed in the Visualization tab. The Parameters tab contains parameters that depend on the type of the object, control points, bitmaps name or others. Many objects can be filled in with any color you choose in the Common tab. Let's see an example. We will apply several objects to the chart and examine their properties. Vertical line. Vertical and horizontal lines are applied to the chart by one click. After you have applied the line, change its name which will mark our line among the others. Choose its color and style. You can manually adjust its position by changing its control points. The Ray option in the Parameters tab enables to display the line in all charts. To display it only in the chart it is created in, disable this option. Trend line. Apply a trend line to the chart by stretching it from one point to another. The trend line has two control points, which can be manually adjusted. The trend line has two additional options, Ray Right and Ray Left. Fibonacci line. This line is applied in a similar way as the trend line and has an initial point at 100% and a final point at 0%. In the Levels tab, you can add any levels, for example, at 76.4%. To display its price at any level line, add percent to its description. Rectangle. To apply a rectangle, define an initial point. Hold the mouse and stretch the rectangle. You can manually adjust its control points change the style and color of its lines, or fill it in with any color in the Properties window. Arrows are small graphical tools which mark the chart. To apply them, choose one from the list and click on the chart. You can adjust the size of most lines by choosing the line thickness. Graphical objects. Charts can be applied by one click. Then you can manually change its location and properties, width, height, visualization of dates and prices scale, chart scale, period and symbol of a financial instrument. Bitmap is applied by one click. After you have applied it, navigate to its properties window and choose an image from the list. To add an image to this list, copy it to MQL5 Images folder. The image should be in the bitmap format. 
It will immediately appear in the list without restarting the terminal. Bitmap label is applied to the chart in a similar way as the bitmap. However, it does not move when a chart is scrolled and stays anchored to the chart. Bitmap label has a particular option. It can change its state by a mouse click. To enable this option, launch its properties window and tick Disable selection in the Common tab. Even if you restart the terminal, the changes are saved.